Shalom, kal halayim, la yahawa ba'ashem, yahawashai, ba'ashem, racha kudash, double honors to the apostles of GMS, who rule well, who I learned his truth from, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect. Alright, um, this is a video from uh, Pastor Dory, or Dor, um, Dor, Dory Love is the channel. Uh, brother sent this in the chat yesterday and I was watching it. And uh, this pastor, this guy, he, he came up to camp years ago and um, to my to you know to my memory he, he never really I don't believe we really got into anything I think he was he was more so listening but I could be wrong but anyway um, you know this dude went out on pride and there's a bunch of these pastors in Toronto you know when we were out there from 2009 that's when we went on the highways. There was one guy called uh, Fear God. And he, I think he's still out there. But um, he used to have a van playing music and Christian rap and all that stuff. We had a big, you know, so-called debate, I guess you can say, with him. Or confrontation on the highways. But this person here, you know, these guys, first of all, they don't know the scriptures. The Most High is not dealing with them. I'm going to play... Uh, excerpt from the video because there's an interesting point that I wanted to bring out but either way bro this is a waste of time going amongst going in the midst of Sodom and Gomorrah right if you don't know that this is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah then you don't know you don't know the scriptures if you don't know that this is um, um, Babylon the Great then you don't know the scriptures okay so this is around the 1039 mark See, they still they still believe in a concept called hell, which the word hell, if you ask them, what does it mean? And they'll bring out maybe a scripture that that has the word hell in it. But when you ask them etymologically, what does the word hell mean? They can't tell you. The majority of them, and they'll probably they'll probably be surprised to, f to find out that there's actually three translations for the word hell in the New Testament. There's only one for the Old in the Hebrew, but there's three in the, in the New Testament. So, so why is there three different words? Why is there three different original Greek text words for the word hell? Right? It goes into context. You know? Primarily the word hell means goes back to Hades. Right, that's the first definition or the first etymology, Hades, which what, who is Hades? That was a mythological place invented by the Greeks, who who we know um, took things from their predecessor kingdoms that they conquered. But anyway, playing on. Ain't gonna get you out of hell. You're gonna stand uh, before God by yourself, and you're gonna be judged according to everything that you did in this body. This is a perversion of the truth. The Bible teaches us. Yeah. Oh, brother, I'm here to communicate. I want to speak. Oh, okay. okay. Number one. When you, okay, that Watch. sign says, okay, Watch. what does that sign say? It says, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, hell is real. Yes. All right. So, their understanding of our most high is called who? Jesus. So, who is the real most high? Who is the real children of the Most High? So, as much as I, I really respect it because everything out here is ba Babylon and pagan and genocide to our nation. This guy knows about Babylon. <laughs> but but he's talking to Pastor Dory or Pastor Dor. Um, and he's not, he's, not, he's not comprehending it, you know. But before you come to... Us, especially as the young gen. What do you mean us? When you say us, what do you mean? Whoa! No, 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 no. When, you, when you say us, what do you mean? This is why, first of all, the scriptures speak about when you go on the highways, the main point you're out there for is what? To edify. The Most High is not the author of confusion. These are the things that happen when you put yourself in the midst of pride in the parade during the festivities man that's why during this time see the thing is in 2009 2010 2011 2012 you didn't have it so big you had it on young street so where he's at right now he's on young right at the intersection of dundas and we were basically two minutes down 
on Dundas at Victoria. And you didn't have too much of this. You know, when they started um, pushing that vibration of, look, it's not Pride Weekend anymore or Pride Week, they changed it to Pride Month. They changed it to the whole month of June as being Pride Month. So during that time, I think, I don't know, maybe 2015 or 16 or 14, um, the spirit switched and we just we just left downtown for that whole month. And then we came back in July to that same spot because the vibration was was too demonic. First of all, that place was demonic as hell anyway. The, the brothers that have been on the highways over there, right across Dundas Square, which is a which is a Masonic, you know, location, right? They call it Dundas Square, and they have a festivity there in November, I think. It's called Illuminites, right? Where they have people in hoods, and they have a bunch of, you know, distractions basically. But the, but it's called I believe it's called Illuminites or Illuminite. But anyway, this is pure confusion. There's no edification here. When you say us, what do you mean? I love you too. God bless you. Thank, thank, thank you for showing me how much how, how much the LGBTQ lo loves uh, lo truly loves. What are the signs? Tell me the signs. This, this is waterproof, by the way. Amen. My heart is beating too. So you're fucking lying to me. If you're telling me that your fucking heart is not racing. No, I'm I'm pretty calm, bro. I do this. I do this. Amen. Time. That's not my point. My point is, it's okay. We overstand weird shit. Are you gay? Are you lesbian? Okay, so what's the point you're trying to make? My point I'm trying to make is that you're here ready to get at the nation, and especially the certain people that are part of the nation. They need you, think, to, you think you're Israelite? I, I don't think I know. <laughs> so he didn't even say anything. He didn't use any word like Israel or Jacob or anything like that. And this dude... He, he clearly knows about the Israelites, so that's why he's like, oh, he's like, you think you're an Israelite? Well, my question is to you, and I left it on your page, is who are the Israelites? Because according to prophecy, the scriptures speak about the children of Israel in the end times in a very grand fashion, right? Okay, like for example, this is Jeremiah 15, 4. This is a prophetic scripture that says, in those days and in that time, Saith the Lord Yahweh, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together. So the children of Israel and the children of Judah is, is speaking about what? What is that speaking about? That's speaking about the two kingdoms that were divided. You have to know some history during the during the time of just before the um, Assyrian captivity. A little after the time of uh, King Solomon dying and his sons, or his son taking taking. Um, leadership um, Rehoboam and Jeroboam splitting the, splitting the two nations Sam, uh, Samaria being north and uh, you know Judah or Jerusalem being south the southern kingdom so so the, 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 the people in the land of Israel today they claim to be either Judah, Yehudi or Levi, Levi <laughs> that's how they say it where's the other tribes man and when is this going to take place? And who is it speaking about? Because this is very big. This is very grandiose, man. Okay, it says, Going, weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord their God. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces to the word, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a, in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Who is this talking about? Because he's he, he made that smart remark. I know I'm a heap. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. How does he know that? How does he know who this man is? So in his mind, them people in the land of Israel are the real Jews. That, that, that's, that's what it is in his mind. And he, you can see he clearly got emotional right away. He's like, you're an Israelite? No, no you're not. How do you know? No, you're not. Right? Because these guys don't know the scriptures. And I'm going to prove it in the, in the comment that he's about to make. No, you're not. No, you're not. The Bible says don't worry about vain genealogies. Uh, have, have, have you done one of those? This man said the Bible talks about vain genealogies. Do you know why that is, Pastor Dory? Pastor Dor, however you say your name. Do you know why that is, the scripture? Let's get that scripture, matter of fact. All right? 1 Timothy 1 and 4. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions 
rather than godly edifying which is in faith so do what is that talking about what endless endless genealogy the endless genealogies you have to know some history again and and you really have to know the scriptures this is Ezra in the Old Testament 2 and 61 and of the children of the priests the children of Habai the children of Kaz the children of Barzillai which took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite and was called after their name these sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy but they were not found therefore were they as polluted put from the priesthood so in the ancient world you had to prove in the registry in the re to, you had to register through your genealogy your lineage that you came from basically Aaron and, and the Levitical priesthood that you were a Levite and, you, and your father's father was a priest and if you couldn't prove that due to certain captivities you, you were removed but that's dealing with the Levitical priesthood. Do you know, Pastor Dor, we're not in the Levitical priesthood anymore? And furthermore, do you know that the Israelites, right? When you read, what is that, Genesis? The Most High is gathering, man. The Most High is gathering his, his, his children, and he's dealing with the children of Israel. Genesis 49 and 1, And Jacob called this unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days each son became like a nation the the, the son of uh, um, the son Reuben the son Gad the son Judah the son Benjamin the son Naphtali the son Manasseh they all became like unto nations and he's telling them look this is what's going to happen with you so how is it that in the latter days in the last days you're going to have or you're not going to have the children of Israel knowing who they are because for a long time we were lost we were without the most high we were without the priest and the ephod etc right this dude is completely bugged out man ancestry.com okay then how do you know you're israelite how do you know you, you don't know that because because somebody told you that that's a lie somebody told you that he's not saying who but we know we know who you're talking about because we prophesied right across the street from there for many years we're in a di different location now but you, you, we know who you're talking about and it doesn't really matter but the point is you don't know the scriptures because he said somebody told you that it's not because somebody told him that it's because that man probably seen a video of, of, of one of the Israelite camps doesn't have to be ours right maybe online or the, the Sakari's out here there's IUIC out here as well sometimes when it's nice and warm and they probably showed them the prophecies that speak about what will happen to the children of Israel and how can how can you can identify them right but this dude is, is completely out of his mind he, he tried to quote endless genealogies what sir what is that talking about that was during the time of, of when the apostles, they had a problem bringing in the Israelite foreigners. Who were the Israelite foreigners? You want to talk about the Gentiles. Oh, God loves everyone. But guess what? The foreigners, this is James 1 and 1. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord, of the Lord Yahushai, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. Let's look up that word scattered because Pastor Dory, you, you must look up words. You must look up words in their original meaning, in their original tongue. So that word for scattered is diaspora, which means a scattering dispersions of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. And if you knew any history, sir, you would know that right after the Persian captivity, right we, we we you know we had the temple rebuilt right you had you had um various kings like cyrus and darius who worked and and would you know who worked with us and allowed us to do certain things because the most high worked through those men after that time period who did you have the greeks the greeks right and during the greek time period they oppressed the israelites mainly through antiochus the fourth 
or Antiochus Epiphanes, he's the one that that started oppressing us, and he said he made it, he outlawed the laws of the Most High. So the majority of people, they had to submit to that, and they did. Many people died, and a few, right, such as the Maccabees and others, but the Maccabees being the the, the forefront, who were Levites, they were their family they went into the mountains and, and started fighting them but for the others what happened they became Greeks they literally became Greeks how under a term called Hellenism they, they became Hellenists or Hellenized so they outlawed the Sabbath they outlawed your son being circumcised they outlawed you proclaiming yourself to be a Jew so if, if, if it's an outlaw if it's if it's illegal to call yourself a Jew it's pretty clear what could what would happen. You would start speaking and dressing Greek and you would call yourself a Greek and your son would grow up knowing nothing else. Right? So you 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 err not knowing the scriptures, sir. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna probably do another video. I just wanted to bring that out just to show that point about the endless genealogy. Alright? How do you know you're Israelite? How do you know? You, you don't know that. Because because somebody told you that, and that's a lie. Hold on, I'm busy. The Bible says I'm busy, bro. Yeah, I'm busy, bro. I'm busy trying, I'm busy trying to save lies, bro. First of all, you, you can't save anybody. You, you're not, you're not, we can't save anybody. This dude's out here saving lives like a like a superhero man you guys are pathetic you guys are really funny though actually Philippians 2 and 12 wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only but much more in my absence work out your own salvation so who, whose life are you trying to save work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and in the book of John the Lord, did he not say, ye have not chosen me, but I've chosen you? So what are you talking about? I'm trying to save lives. Do you know that, first of all, the deliverance is dealing with the children of Israel? That's who the deliverance is dealing with. So you're thinking you're gonna save multitudes of people? You're you're completely bugged out, man. Hold on. Yeah, this is it. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 21. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power, because because we're not the Most High is not dealing with the whole, the, all of the children of Israel. Okay, there, there's, a, there's a certain amount that, that will be cut off, which is about two, th which is two thirds, not about Salakia, two thirds will be cut off. So who, who are you guys talking about the all nations? Let me read that again. This is Isaiah 10 and 21. The remnant shall return. Who? The, the, the Gentiles, all nations, even the remnant of Jacob. You can't make yourself a Jacobite. You can't make yourself an Israelite. Even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, that pers that pers that is 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 a direct connection to the children of Israel, the literal children of Israel. That's been a the thing the Most High said: I will multiply your seed, and and will make you as the stars of heaven and as the sand of the sea. That pursued to the children of Israel. No other nation, right? For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. Again, going into what I, what I, with the previous point I made, the consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. So this person here, he's got issues, mainly with not knowing the scriptures, and you really shouldn't be professing the scriptures if you don't know them, right? Because you, you, you were just clearly shown you don't know the scriptures, you don't know why. Paul wrote to Timothy 
don't worry about the endless genealogies because those Israelites couldn't prove <laughs> that, that they were Israelites because they were Hellenized. But you don't know that part of history, right? You're, you're actually ignorant on that part. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's legal. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says... can't do nothing, eh? I don't, I don't need to be saved. No, hold on, hold on. You need to be saved. What is this guy talking about? What is this retard talking about? This, this, this delusional character said, I don't need to be saved. You need to be saved. What are you saved from, bro? What are you saved from? Are you, are you saved from the destruction that's coming? Are you saved from the hour of temptation? Because the scripture says the hour of temptation is, 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 hold on, let me get that, man. Because you, you, you're talking about you're saved. This is Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Do you even know what that's talking about? Are, are you saved from that? What are you saved from? You can't. You don't even have a beard, man. You, you, you got a small goatee or whatever the hell you got. You're completely bugged out, man. You're, you're not trying to keep the laws of the Most High. The scripture says, do we make void the law? Of course not. God forbid. We establish the law through faith. Paul told you that. You need to repent and get right with God. The Bible says, okay. the, the Bible says, do you not know? Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexual nor immoral, neither sexual immoral, or idolaters, no adulterers, no men who practice homosexuality. These are the words of the holy God. Amen. These are the words of the, of the Bible. This is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bravo. Thank you. Because you just proved. <laughs> Let me close up on this. You just proved the point, man. This is Galatians 3 and 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not unto seeds as of many, but as of one and to thy seed, which is in Mashiach, the, the anointed, the Savior, the Messiah, right? Abraham, he had many seeds. He had, he had Keturah and, and, and his children there, but his seed went through Sarah, Sarah. It went through Sarah, to Isaac, to Jacob, who had 12 sons. And you guys try to engraft yourself in some magical way. And the funny thing is that, Pastor Dory, you're an Israelite. You said you're African-American, which I don't know what that is, because that's a byword. All right? You can't tell me your real nationality. You know, you're going to call yourself black, which is a color. There's no nation as, as black or white. That's, that's a psyop created by the Edomites, but anyway... Shalom, Kahalalim, Layahu, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rechakudash, the Blanus to the Apostles of GMS, who rule well, who I learned the truth from, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.